too hot, too cold, can't concentrate. We have students where the ceiling tiles are falling apart and falling on their desks. They no longer can participate in the activities that the other students are participating in because their environment is worsening their condition. The water actually rains into the room over the lights and it actually appears to be a waterfall. And what we do is we take these buckets or these trash cans and we collect the water. And you can see it actually raining in the classroom. This is room 303 in Southern Middle School. It's raining outside and inside. How big a problem would you say air quality, indoor air quality in schools is to a student's health? Right now, the last estimates said about a third of our schools, about a third of our schools have some kind of problem that causes respiratory problems in children. Unfortunately, we have a lot of issues in this building with all old buildings. The problems are when we have a $750 million that we would need in order to fix all of our buildings and our district just recently suffered an $18 million cut in state funding the government doesn't really think about the needs of our students. We actually have a well over there and we had sewage coming up into this area so eventually we just stopped having everything down here. The problem is students are still using this walkway right above it to get back and forth to their classes. By no means a unique situation. We have many buildings in the state of Pennsylvania that are maybe as bad if not in worse condition in this building. People understand asthma, they understand the allergens that could potentially be worsening that. But what about, you know, their learning, their ability to be the best that they can be? I'm a teacher and I can tell you the learning effects um, of students. And I taught elementary grades. Um, one of the things we know is that when you miss a lot of school, there's a direct correlation between that and the dropout rate. Kids that miss a lot of school tend to be the dropouts on the other end because they, they miss so much, they're frustrated. They never catch up. They never catch up. Temperature is definitely an issue in, in some of the newer buildings as well as in some of the older buildings. Um, the ventilation systems are definitely dated. Um, and the newer ones, I think it's just harder to regulate because of the size of the building and the number of students and the bodies that go in and out of the classroom. So that definitely has been an issue. I would hope that in some of the work that we've been doing here today that we are able to get the attention of, of at least legislators and or folks who control funding so that they can take a look at how districts are funded and perhaps begin to put aside pools of money that would at least give us a fighting chance to upgrade. How big an issue is this for America? It matters to my whole community, my whole city, my state, my economy that all of our kids go to a school that's healthy, that's good for them. Um, that's the least we could do. Talk about curriculum and books and technology and all of those things, yes. But if you put all of those in a building where kids are getting asthma, what have you done?